this is my MC-10. And my MC-10 only comes with standard outputs here, which makes it difficult to connect to modern displays. The MC-10 uses a uh, VDG chip, which makes it possible to hook up the RGB to HDMI adapter, which I have done. Uh, I've done that by wiring straight into the VDG. Uh, I also have an adapter board, a VDG breakout board that I made um, that fits well in the other Cocos because they have more girth than this one. However, the MC-10 is thin enough where I can't close the case with that adapter inside. Coconut Bob has developed a very thin, low profile breakout board that solders to the bottom of the main board. And in this video, I'm going to install this and then hook it up to an RGB to HDMI. So now, let's look inside the MC-10. Here is the MC-10. As you can see, the MC-10 has uh, plenty of differences with other Cocos. Um, however, one thing that it does share with the other Cocos is the VDG chip. So we can use anything we make for the Coco in general um, that works with displays, make it work with the MC-10. So now I'm gonna grab Coconut Bob's adapter board, VDG breakout board, and install it. Okay, this here is the bottom of the SP10 board. This is where the VDG is, and pin one is this pin right there. If we grab Coconut Bob's board here, right, the orientation, according to the silk screen here, is this way. This is marked as pin one. So that lays right there. Fair warning, uh, this is difficult to do while filming. All right, I think I have that there. And now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to solder it in place. So I'm gonna hold it down with my fingers there and just apply heat over the pins. Okay, that didn't work. Actually, well, you can apply some solder. That was a little better. Okay. A little better. Okay. Let me try this one again. All right, see if you're going fine. Let's add these two here. All right, that is soldered in. Okay, that might not be the best way to do this, but it's going to work. Now he has a jumper here, so you can power uh, the RGB to HDMI board directly. I'm gonna hold off on that. Uh, I do wanna power it uh, with its own power supply first, and then I'll experiment. Now, <clears throat> the way we're gonna hook this up is I'm gonna grab a ribbon cable here with IDC connectors. I'm gonna cut this here, and then I'm gonna solder it right on this board here like this. Okay, and um, this is the back of the MC-10 right here. I'm going to route it out this way. That is my plan so far. So, um, yeah, that's here we go. Doing. I'm going to try and solder this while filming. Now I've gone ahead and stripped and pre tinned these to make it a little easier. Uh, fingers crossed. Let's see. Man, I can't even see this. I don't know. Can't even see that. I don't even know if it if it's shorting or not. <sighs> well, let me know in the comments later on because I can't see Jack.
Oop, the last one, of course, I cannot, let's see. Okay, well, it's on there, it's not coming off. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to check this later on and double, make sure that you know it's not shorting or anything. But it's on there and it's good enough for testing. Um, so yeah, okay. Let's see what happens okay, now. You can see I soldered in the wires. You saw that earlier, but I've routed them and I've decided to route them uh, where the RCA connector is or the RF jack because that's the only opening that I'm aware of right now that I can use. Um, that may not be where it ends up, but for now for testing, that's going to work. So let's flip this guy around and place it in the case. All right. Will I be able to do that? Uh, yep. Yep. Okay. Let's hook this wretched keyboard in. This wretched keyboard connection. It's terrible. It's hard to see. It's hard to put in. Add to that that I have these fat sausage fingers. It does not help. And... I will probably get something wrong here. Two hours later. Okay. I think I th think they're in. Nope. All right. Let's try this again. Who in the heck decided this was a good idea? Holy. Two hours later. All right. We're going to skip that because I can't do that while filming. All right. Okay, so we're just going to close this. All right. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you here. I have my RGB HDMI here. Alright, I'm going to plug that in, let's plug power in, and well, actually, you know what I am going to do, I am going to put the lid on, just so you can see that uh, you can close it, because there is no extra height added. Okay, you can see that's closed, it'll work. So, moment of truth. Alright, let's look up here, you see I'm going to... I'm going to hit the power switch here. Okay, and here we go. One, two, three. Yay! It works very nice. It's nice and clean, nice and crisp. This is definitely the best way to do RGB to HDMI on the MC10. It is very, very nice. Thank you, Coconut Bob. Very good. Okay then, well, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, hopefully I'll be making another video in the near future. Goodbye.